are launching a rocket and trying to break a world record for the highest altitude reached by a high school designed and built rocket. Um, there are six high schools out here trying to do this. Um, we're the first to launch. We have a group of uh, high school students from Marble Falls High School in, in Texas, and uh, they, over a 10-month period, have started uh, with designing a flight profile for a rocket on paper using the mathematics. Okay, they're off. Back in. Come around this way. A uh, Goddard-level rocket. Um, our rocket is 450 pounds, approximately, um, 18 and a half feet long and we are planning on it going 100,000 feet. Uh, we signed our names on the nose cone because that's going to be the highest part. The reason we uh, signed it was because uh, maybe we, might, we may not be able to go as high as the rocket, but something that we made has reached this height and we'd like our names to be a part of it, to say that, hey, we built this, we did this. Go in. It looked like it was going to lift off. We had a really uh, great start. Uh, the the gox went well. We had good ignition, but our oxidizer just uh, didn't make it to the fuel grain. So then I got a little disappointed. But uh, it's good. It's good to be out here. Not very many people get to come out here and do this. So it was a great learning experience. Test and evaluation is a fancy way of saying you know trial and error. So I think that these guys come out here, you know there's something wrong and these guys get engaged and they get they get motivated into fixing something and that's part of engineering nothing ever goes as expected well at first it was, I was a little disappointed but then I realized that I, I at least got to witness something amazing I mean something great <laughs>